Hey everybody, I wanted to take a quick look at a way of creating a looping walk cycle in Motion Builder using the Story Tool. The Story Tool is just a nonlinear animation editor inside of Motion Builder that allows us to blend clips together, uh, clips of animation, or also in this case, extend animation out in time in sort of a looping fashion. So let's take a look at how this works. Down in the timeline or the story editor, I'm going to create a character animation track. And right away you can see that it gives me a list of characters in the scene. From there, all I have to do is drag a piece of motion capture directly onto my timeline and it's automatically applied to my character. And you can see that my character starts walking along. So that's great, but I want to create a loop. And if you notice, the last frame of the animation really isn't uh, anything like the first frame. So you can see the character is actually walking in that case. And if we drag through in time, the last frame is just sort of the character standing there on both, uh, both feet. So let's edit this using the story tool just a little bit. I'm going to first of all find a point where the character's foot leaves the ground or is about to leave the ground. I'm going to use the right foot as sort of my anchor position or my anchor uh, point to match the first and last frame to start that loop. We'll use the razor tool there to cut the clip in that position. And we'll just delete that part of the animation. And then we'll scrub forward in time and find sort of a corresponding frame. And that looks like it's pretty close. And we'll use that short snippet as the basis of our walk cycle. So from here, we'll just go ahead and drag that to the beginning of the timeline. and Let's frame the time slider so we can use our buttons here to go back and forth from the first frame to the last frame. And let's use our pose controls to match that first frame or match the last frame to this first frame. So the first thing I'll do is let's find a good position that we can take a snapshot in because the pose controls allow you to do that. And there's my pose. So I want to do all I want to do now is move my time slider to the end frame and create a subtrack that I can use to then blend into. So all I have to do is go to the first frame, we'll copy that pose, go to the last frame, and I want to paste this, but I want to paste it around a position that I know is going to stay still or something that I can anchor to. And that, in this case, is that right foot. So we'll just hit the paste button and you can see it creates a clip for me. Let's zoom into that a little bit. We can even expand this out so we can see it a little bit better. And I'll just hit a keyframe, and we're going to blend into that keyframe over just a couple of frames. So this, these little handles here are a, an indication of the blend value that, uh, that goes into that particular clip. And what you can see now is that uh, my Bluetooth device is not discoverable. Uh, we, need, we can get rid of that. But you can see now that my right foot is firmly planted on the ground and that pose was pasted right into that position. So let's frame back in uh, to our timeline. We'll collapse this down just a little bit. And what we're going to do from here is just bake this down to a single clip. And now we have our new clip. We'll go ahead and mute off those other two and then grab the handle at the end of the clip and just extend that out into time. So now my character will just continue to walk out into the scene the way you would expect. So that's a really simple way of using the story tool to create a looping animation. One more thing, if we wanted to evaluate that in position, we could just expand our character controls, go down to our modifiers, and make sure that our in place is turned on and one thing you want to make sure you're using is the Motion Builder Character Solver. So from here, all we have to do is hit play, and our character is walking in place using that looping animation that we created inside the Story Tool. All right, so hope everybody has a happy holidays, and see you back here again soon.